The addition? I don't think you gotta remember for the addition. Go sit right there. I don't think you gotta remember for the addition. You need the same denominator. So I don't think you gotta remember for the addition. If you could think of a number that's seven and six going to, you could use that for the denominator. That was the problem. But if you can't think of a number six and seven going to, your next alternative is to multiply seven times six and it's gonna give you one. That's what I tried to do. All right, so seven times six gives you 42, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use 42 for both of the denominators. To get the numerator, it's two steps. Seven going to 42 six times, six times three is 18. Six going to 42 seven times, seven times two is 14. You got so far. <clears throat> so we got the same denominator. We can go down and combine the numerators. So 18 and 14 is going to give us 32, huh? 12. Yeah. All right, so now we have 32 over 42. Now, that's our final answer. But they don't want it like that. They want it to be reduced or what they're going to call in lowest terms. So you have to think of a number that going to 32 that also going to 42. If you can't think of nothing, they're even numbers. You know what I mean by even numbers? Do the same. Cut it even yeah. numbers, that mean You could divide them by two. two four, it's going to end with a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. That's an even number. So it end with 2, it end with 2, so both of them even numbers. So if, if, if they end with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, it's an even number. So I'm going to reduce it. So by both being even, I know 2 going to both of them. So 2 going to 32, 16 times. And two going to 42, two going to 4, two times, two going to 2, one time. So my final answer is going to be 16 over 21. You see it? Now let him do one, Rendell. Write one, make up one for him to do. And sit, talk out loud. Talk. 4, 8, 5, 10, 15, 20. 4, 8, 10, 4, 8, 12, 16. What you gonna use? Talk out loud. 20. Okay. Do I cross multiply? So you can see 5 going to 20 four times, right? 14, mm -hmm. Four times 1 is 4. 4 going to 25 times, 5 times 2 is 10. That's how you get your numerator. Now what y'all doing, Ed? Yeah. So, one last step. Um, They both even because this end with 0, this end with 4, right? So what number going to 14 and also going to 20? You know that's going to be a 2, right? 2 going to 14, 7 times, 2 going to 20, 10 times. And this can't be reduced no more. Because nothing going to 7 and also going to 10 except for 1. So you can't reduce that no more. What about, just, and just from a layman's perspective, what about if he asks himself, what's half of 14 and what's half of 20? Like half of 14 is 7, half of 20 is 10. Was that a way of thinking? Uh, uh, should he just go by the... Uh, so weird. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, he could have. Cause he's using two. Yeah. Yeah, he's using two. Yeah. And even even if it was a bigger number, once he get half of that, and it still got numbers, he can half of that again and half of that again uh, until he get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Cause see, here goes a scenario. Let's say I ask you to reduce the cell. I ask you to reduce this. You might say, well, both of them even. Two going to the 12 times. Two going to the 16. But they both even, so I can reduce it some more. Two going to the 6 times. Six. Two going to the 8, eight times. I still can reduce it. Two going to the 3 times. Two going to the 4 times, right? Mm -hmm. So my final answer is 3 4. But depending on how you're thinking, to eliminate some of that, 8 going to this and 8 going to this. 8 going to this 3 times. Eight going to that full time, but you still arrive at the same answer. So, so yeah. the bigger the number you can think of, just the quicker. But if you can't think of no big number, just roll with what you have. You see, you had subtraction, man. Huh? Yeah. You're going to do the same exact thing. That's three fourths minus one sixth. 
six. Three fourths minus one six. You can't add or subtract unless you have a common denominator. What number do four go into that six go into? What's the smallest number Two. you can think of? No, not not that going to them that they can go into. They both can go into. Yeah, that four can divide into mm -hmm. and six can divide into. Twelve. 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 The best one because it's the smallest. We could have used twenty four. We could have used forty eight. But if you think of the smaller number, that's the best one. So twelve is the best. Four going to twelve three times. Three times three is nine, right? Mm -hmm. Six going to twelve two times. Two times one is two, right? So now I have the same denominator, right? I'm just going to subtract nine minus two. Seven twelves. Seven twelves. That's the answer. It's the same procedure. But you got to have a common denominator. That's only for addition and subtraction. What normally happens is when people go to doing the multiplication division, they think they need a common denominator. They don't. And that's where the mistakes come. Only for addition and subtraction, you need a common denominator. So, yes. For addition and subtraction. Yes. Uh, let him do one. Right? Make up mm -hmm. one for him. Yeah, but I'm looking at Caesar. He finished with one day on that lot and that's dope. Well, oh, that's what you're going to tell him I put right here? Yeah. That's a, that could be your house or? It's going to be, you can say it's going to be mine, but you know. I mean, the living? Uh, partially, yeah, partially. That's a big piece of lot back there. All right, mm -hmm. you can't think of a number, multiply with seven times eight. This kind of looks like the house that was over here. Is that house still in? Where Renault used to live in, I think it was. Who, who lived in that house right there? Grandpa used to live Another side right of the lot. No, another other side of the lot. The next house from the lot. Oh, that next time Grandpa used to live there. That's where. And my oh, aunt right. Ellie used to live there before them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we doing so, the top one. And they had a porch on seven. that house, didn't they? Yeah, this thing out of there one on the. So we'll do seven, going to fifty six. How many times? Eight times. And eight times three gonna give you what? Did you done got this twenty four? No. Yeah, I just went got it, and I'm trying to get a permit right now. Twenty four. What's the, gonna be the numerator right here? Twenty-one. It's gonna be kind of big. Eight. All right. Eight. Two hundred fifty-six. How many times? Seven. Seven times one is what? Seven. Seven. The next step. You break this shit all the way down. That's how it Now, remember, hold up. The subtraction. So try that again. The subtraction, not addition. Oh. So go ahead and run that subtraction. They got this sucker down to the T. Now exact how it's supposed to be built. A whirlpool tub. In the second tub, a nice size bathroom. This man, this gonna be your house. Mm -hmm. This gonna be your house. You, know, you can't again. rent nothing like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm barely gonna be in there, but yeah. but I I, 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 I would like. See, you never know. I might have him and about ten of his football players over there one day. See, I left this room here big. Yeah. My God. It's all say the same, but I'm put a pool table, ping pong table, pinball yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah. And everything in that, that's. God say the same. So let's see, twenty-four minus seven. Put you at seventeen, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, my fault. Yeah, that's right. You straight on now. But let's look at the sip. Let's let's work with getting that numerator. What's what is my numerator? Deep drive, Uncle Chip. 
All right, I want to know what's going to be my numerator. Two thirds is equal to what? What over nine? Six. Now we've been looking at it like the six, the same thing. You remember up here we did three going to nine, three times three times mm -hmm. two is six, right? Mm-hmm. Same thing right here. Three going to nine, three times three times two is six. You got me? Let's look at it again. Four fifths is equal to what over fifteen? Three. Wait. Six. Five going to fifteen. How many times? Three. Three times four gonna give us what? Twelve. Good. So twelve gonna go there. You know what they call that that formula? Uh, All we're doing right now is getting equal fractions. Get equal fractions. But what, what I was showing was up here we was doing it like downwards. Mm -hmm. But sometimes what if I have one third plus four fifths? You know, I'm going to write down 15 and 15, right? But what if I had one third plus four fifth written like that there? You're probably going to put what it's equal to to the right. You know, it's the same step I'm just showing them both, both ways. You're going to divide, then multiply. And in fact, in fact, with that same problem, in next, what grade you Fifth. Next year, you're going to do the self. The same thing well, you're doing right, now. Everything you did, I'm saying, so look, check this out. You're going to do the same thing we're doing now, but watch how it's going to look. Just now, I asked you two-thirds is equal to what over nine, right? Instead of them having it like that, what they're going to put next year is an X right there. And all they're going to know is what's going we'll to go there, right? Look, two ways you can do it. You can stick with what you're doing. You can say three going to nine three times. Three times two, which means x have to equal to 6, right? And they're going to show you this way of doing it. They're going to tell you to do 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times x is 3x. And then they're going to tell you divide by 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So x equal to 6, either which way. And you already know, so you might stick with your way you're doing now if you want. I don't want to put too much on it, but I just want to show you you're going to run into that next year. They have one more thing you're going to run into next year. That you're already doing. I just want to show you so you can see the relationship. You're doing it already right now. If I told you 1 over 8 minus 1 over 9, right? You can't think of a... Uh, you can't think. 27. No. If you can't think of nothing, what's one alternative we got? If we can't think of nothing, what multiply else? Multiply with 8 times 9. 64. 72. 72. 72. So let's go to 72. 8 going to 72, 9 times 9 times 1 is 9. 9 going to 72, 8 times 8 times 1 is 8. And the last step is do what? Got the same denominator. I just said nine no, just, minus eight. Just no, good. Just subtracted. And that's it. Straight. So you got them. You got them. The the the, the, the uh, adding fractions. You got subtracting fractions. Y'all started you got with multiplication multiplying? fractions. Yeah, you do have that. Wait, huh? we, yeah, 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 we do. So do a multiplication. Multiplication. Fraction. Two thirds times one fourth, right? With multiplication. Let's see how you're gonna do it. One last thing they're gonna look for when you make it to that final answer. One more thing you can do. Reduce. Reduce it. Good. How many times do two go into self? Wait, huh? Two go into two how many times? One time. One time. Mm -hmm. Two go into twelve how many times? Six. Good. That's your final answer. Because they always gonna want everything in lowest terms. So they always want to always double check, see if you can reduce. You so, got a calculator? Yeah, they got one on my desk, but I don't know if they yeah, were yeah. using that. Yeah, but you can just have it for next year. <laughs> yeah. Let me get them.
Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold it till next yeah. year. Yeah, man. He got all that stuff on them phones. I mean, them damn phones. It's got everything. So, so this is to, this is to get it right. So we got all three of them that you think you're going to need. Okay. Now, how are you with the decimals? Okay. Now, you've been asking me about seeing Rendell. And here he is. You need to ask him everything you need to know. I'm good with the decimals. You good with the decimals? I'm good with the decimals. Okay. So how you feel about this? Is there any questions you want to ask? Mm-mm. You think you can handle it? Mm-hmm. Well, nothing else. Come with the numbers. Good. For this one here. Now, you know what that dot mean? 10. Uh uh, no, no. That dot mean multiplication. So, okay. right now, I don't know, y'all might be still using the X, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and use the X. But what I do, what's my first step on this one? Try to find a common denominator. Ah, what operation is this? Multiplication. For multiplication, do we need a common denominator? No, we won't. No. Multiply. So, we just gonna multiply numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator, right? Alright. So, last problem. I just wanna show you. This division, right? Let me show you the difference between multiplication and division. For division, all you do is rewrite the first side, change division to multiplication, and flip the other side. And now you just multiply numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. That's the difference between multiplication and division. Circle that, bro. Oh, you saw that on the video? That's the reciprocal? That's not a yeah, reciprocal. Yeah, that's called a reciprocal. That's yeah, flipped the other side. That's the reciprocal. So now you got all four formulas. Now you know the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Now you just got to write. Addition and subtraction, you need that common denominator. Multiplication, just multiply numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. And for the division, rewrite the first side. And the second change side. Change division to multiplication. multiplication and and take the reciprocal of the second side. And then you just multiply. Now, that was some powerful information. Just that little bit, that formula he just gave you. If you remember that, you That's got all this. four operations. All I'm talking about that last little statement he just made. If you remember that, you got this. Now, I'm going to tell you what normally happens is after you do a couple of the addition and subtraction, and then you jump to multiplication, sometimes we forget and think we need a common denominator for multiplication, but we don't. Only for the addition and subtraction, you need a common denominator. So you good? All right. Okay, Carl, I'm going to get out of here. But see, let me show you something. I don't want to show him that I don't want to overload him. But let me just show you this here. Write it in there. Make right. a square box. Right. Put it in that square put box. Put it right here. Yeah. Uh, one and one fourth, right? One and one fourth plus, I'm going to say, two fourths. You got me? Mm-hmm. You, you know what's yeah, so different? Four fourths over there would be four fourths. That's a four times one is four. Uh, no, no. How, how would you do that? All right. What we're going to do is to make this easy. It's turn this to where this have a numerator and denominator only. Mm -hmm. You got me? So what I do is one times four is four plus one is five. So this thing here oh, that go five is, fourths. is equal to five fourths plus two fourths. We have a common denominator. We just go down the edge. Now what would you call that? Uh, that's, form? that's called an improper fraction. Improper fraction. Remember I told you that? Uh, better yet, fraction. better yet, I take that back. A mixed number. A mixed, a mixed number. number. Where well, you that have a whole number with a numerator is a denominator. Number. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this yeah. is a mixed number. Yeah, that's yeah. a mixed number. One and where one. Where you have a whole a number, number and a fraction. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one way you could approach it is change it to an improper fraction. And then let's say if you had an improper fraction, to change that to a mixed number, just divide the bottom into, into the that. top. Four going to seven one time, you left with three. That's equal to four and three fourths. Mm -hmm. To convert it back to that. You know, I'm starting to remember some of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I put a four that should have been a one. Four going to seven one time. And then to convert it back to that, one time four is four plus three is seven. Seven fourths. You got it? For one time. And you going to have it mastered. Mm hmm. You're going to have it well, mastered. Well, we're going to have it mastered yeah. as I recorded this stuff. And we're going to use this. Bro, man. man, don't hesitate, man. I'll be chilling, man. Yeah, like I said, I was stop with that thing. But when she called me to well, pick up something to eat, huh? it threw it threw me off. You, you know? got back late? I got, no, I got back about two something. Oh, it was two to six in the evening. Yeah, about yeah. Two my brother something. Michael coming out of this weekend. Right. And my mama said, pick me up something to eat. I stopped and slide there, pick up something to eat. What you got? Something. I went to the Panda, Panda. Oh yeah, Panda That's, spot. Yeah, yeah, Panda Express. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I like that chick for Lego, bro. Well, we did pizza today. That's something we don't do much of. Uh, yeah. 
I, I, we got greens that we was growing. Yeah, yeah. And she put them in the pot to cook. Yeah. But then she kept saying it was going to take too long, so she ordered pizza. Yeah. But let yeah. me tell you something. Them damn greens smell good. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you, yeah. only Man, way. Man, green good for you, too. Right. Let me tell you, when I was a little kid, Lewis would tell you, if you tell Lewis you saw me eating greens, he'll probably say something like, Boy, my mama turned over my grave. She knew that nigga was eating green. Right. Bro, they used to whip me to no end to eat greens and cabbage, and mm. I wouldn't do it. And my mama gave up on me. Yeah. I mean, I was five and six and seven years old. Mm. I could not stand to eat green. Mm. But I learned, I learned.